So the first thing that we're going to use is we're going to use the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I really like using this primer because it's super hydrating and it smells amazing. Like it was built to break off the so now that we've primed, we're going to move on to brows. The first thing that I'm going to use for my brows is the ABH Dip Brow in Medium Brown and I'm just going to apply this with an angled brow brush. And I'm going to start by underlining my brows and then filling in from the tail to the front of the brow. Now I'm just going to darken up the tail of my brow using ABH Dip Brow again, but this time in the shade Ebony. And now just to make sure that those brows stay in place all day, I'm going to use the NYX Brow Mascara and this is in the shade Noir Black. So now I'm just going to apply some masking tape to the outer corners of my eyes and this will make sure that when I remove the tape I will have a clean crisp line from my eyeshadow. For eye primer today I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. I really like this primer because it's really thick and it dries matte. Remember to use your concealer brush to pat down the base to make sure that it is even and everything is covered. Now moving on to the eyeshadow, so the first shade that I'm going to take is from the Morphe 35C palette and I'm just going to use this as my transition shade and apply it all in my crease. Now I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm going to use this shade to add more depth to my crease using a smaller brush and not taking it as high as the previous shade. And using the same palette, I'm just taking a slightly darker shade and once again adding this into my crease and keeping it lower than the other two previous shades. Now to make sure that's all blended seamlessly, I'm just going back in with a big fluffy brush and I'm just blending out the edges of all those shades. Now for the look that I'm doing today, we need to do a half cut crease. So I'm taking the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in Light Warm and I'm going to use a really small detailed brush to carve out my crease. Now when you're doing this, you want to get a lot of concealer onto your brush to make sure that the cut out is really clean and crisp. Now 
Now remember to take your time with this step because the neater your cut crease is, the better the end look will be. And remember to pat in your concealer to make sure that it is completely matte and dry before applying any other eyeshadow. Next I'm taking the MUA Tropical Oceana palette and I'm going to take this bright metallic green here and I'm going to apply this all over the area that we've just cut out with the concealer and we're going to apply this with, with a flat packing shader brush. Now taking the same MUA palette, I'm going to use the slightly lighter green metallic shade just to add some depth and dimension. Now we're going back to the Jaclyn Hill Marfa palette and we're going to take this brown shade to blend in the brown with the edge of the green. And lastly we're going to take an even darker brown shade and add this to the outer corners just to add some depth. Now it's time to remove the tape. Remember to take your time with this so that you make sure you have a clean, crisp line. Now using the Collection 2000 Gold Glam Crystal Liner, we're gonna draw the line on our eyes where the green meets the brown. Now going back to the Jaclyn Hill Marfa palette, we're going to use the white frosted shade to highlight our brow bone. Now before I apply some lashes, I'm just going to coat my top lashes with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. The lashes that I'm going to be using today are from the brand Oh Your Lash and these are their foam ink lashes. And here I'm using one of my favourite foundations. This is their LA Girl Pro HD foundation. And I'm going to place this all over my face and then blend it out using a damp beauty blender. To highlight the high points of my face, I'm going to go back and use the same concealer that we cut out the crease with, and that's the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in Light Warm, and I'm going to apply this and then blend it out with the same Beauty Blender sponge. Shine, cause I 
and to set my base and my concealer I'm using the RCMA No Colour Powder and I'm applying this with my Beauty Blender. To add some warmth and to bronze up my face, I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm going to apply it with a large fluffy brush. This is one of my favourite bronzers and it smells like coconuts. I'm also using the same Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and a small blending brush from Zoeva to contour my nose. For my contour, I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan and a slightly smaller fluffy brush. Now I'm going back in with the previous shades from the Morphe 35C and the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette to add some eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line. And now that's done, I can go ahead and add some mascara to my lower lashes. Now I'm using my favourite highlighter from the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit and this is the shade Glow Getter and I'm applying this to the high points of my face using a small blending brush. And then I'm also taking a little bit of the shade Forever Lit just to highlight the inner corner of my eyes and the tip of my nose. And to finish off the look, I'm adding a nude matte lipstick from the brand Makeup Revolution. And here's the finished look guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you have remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time guys, bye!